China's research laboratories are the source of many secrets. The few officially publicly announced scientific findings in China, which were intended to inspire pride and patriotism among the public, have ended up scaring the world. On June 19, 2021, Chinese media covered extensively that Chinese scientists had successfully impregnated male rats and delivered pups by cesarean section, with 10 pups eventually developing to adulthood. The Chinese media proudly boasted, how far is it to let a man have a baby? This news is based on a scientific research paper published on June 16 in the Life Sciences preprint platform BioArchive entitled A Rat Model of Pregnancy in the Male Parabiont with co-signed authors from China Naval Medical University. The paper has not been peer-reviewed. According to the paper, the study was carried out in four steps. One, surgically castrate male rats. Two, surgically joining a male rat to a female rat to create a conjoined rat, which gave the male rat a female biological microenvironment through blood exchange. 3. Eight weeks later, performing a uterine transplant in the male rat. And 4. Transferring the initial development embryos into the male rat's transplanted uterus. In total, the research team included 46 pairs of conjoined female rats. 280 embryos were transferred into males. After 21.5 days of gestation, 27 embryos developed normally in the male rat's uterus. The male rats were finally delivered by cesarean section, and 10 well-developed pups were successfully born with functional reproductive capacity. In a parallel experiment, 562 embryos were transferred to female rats, and 169 embryos developed normally in the uterus of the female rats. Many overseas media commentators believe that the experiments have inflicted pain on the rats and recklessly violated the natural law that most animals are conceived by females. It is unnecessary defying the laws of nature and going against the natural order of things and ethics. Even in China, it has confused many Chinese. The male rat plays essentially no role in the pregnancy process because the uterus and embryo are implanted and the blood supply for the embryo is from another pregnant female rat. So, by extension, if a man is needed to have a baby, he needs to be castrated, the uterus transplanted, the embryo implanted, and then carried to term with the pregnant woman. That is to say, without women, men still cannot give birth on their own. Sensitive Chinese netizens are quick to connect this with the future of Chinese men. Is this research done to support the government's three-child policy? When there are not enough women of childbearing age, they are looking for men to give birth and transplant a womb in the hospital. The word nature does not seem to be part of the Chinese Communist Party's vocabulary. Back in late 2019, China created the world's first pig-monkey hybrid creature. The experiment was conducted by the Institute of Zoology of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. The research paper was published in the journal Protein and Cell. The co-signed authors include a member of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. Briefly, the experiment involved in planting 4,000 long-tailed macaque embryos into mother pigs, resulting in the birth of 10 piglets, two of which were born chimeras, consisting of tissues of two different genetic compositions. These long-tailed macaque cells had previously been genetically modified to allow these cells to carry the GFP green fluorophore protein, which allowed the researchers to track the cells and their progeny. The researchers observed that two pig monkey mixed piglets with organs including the heart, liver, spleen, lungs and skin were partially composed of monkey cells. However, all 10 piglets died within a week. Although the Chinese researchers claim that the ultimate goal of this research is to grow human organs in animals that can be used for transplants, that is, for the benefit of humans. However, this has shocked most researchers in Western countries. Some heads of biotechnology companies believe that the experiments using animals may have created many viruses, which is very scary. For communist China, their role model is the former Soviet Union. In 2017, the Russian newspaper Pravada reported that according to secret files revealed, the former Soviet Union had secretly experimented on a creature that was half man, half ape in the 1920s and 1930s. 
Stalin, the leader of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union, ordered scientists to experiment with human-animal combinations in order to create an invincible army of ape-men warriors. In his vision, these warriors would be powerful, slow of brain, and painless. In war, they could be used as war machines at will, and in peace, they could be used in the coal mining industry as cheap labor. The person responsible for this ape-man project was a very famous scientist in the field of artificial insemination, Lelila Ivanov. But as reported, the ape hybrid experiment was not successful. Decades later, when construction workers were building a children's playground in the Black Sea City, Georgia, they unearthed the remains of an ape hybrid research laboratory and some ape skeletons. In 2018, He Jen Kui, an associate professor at China's Southern University of Science and Technology, announced publicly the birth of twin baby girls who are immune to AIDS through gene editing technology. It sparked widespread condemnation from the global scientific community. More than 100 Chinese scientists issued a joint statement stating that this gene editing technology has existed long and is not an innovation. Biomedical scientists worldwide have refrained from using it because of the enormous risks and, more importantly, the ethical issues. In the face of massive international pressure, a Chinese court ruled at the end of 2019 that He Jianhui's actions constituted the illegal practice of medicine and he was sentenced to three years in prison and fined RMB 3 million. The world is looking into the origin of the global pandemic, which has put the P4 laboratory in Wuhan, China, in the spotlight. On at least two occasions, research by Chinese scientists on COVID-19 has sparked ethical and moral discussions. On the first occasion, a female scientist at the Wuhan Institute of Virus Research, Shi Zhengli, conducted a study on the enhanced function of the virus. On the second occasion, in early June, the U.S. magazine Vanity Fair reported that the CCP military researchers had bred rats with humanized lungs through genetic modification in 2019 to test the infectivity of the virus and others on human lungs. In addition, several European media outlets reported in 2019 that a Spanish research team using a laboratory in China had asked Chinese researchers to complete a historic step, injecting human stem cells into the embryos of monkeys. In doing so, they successfully produced the world's first human-monkey hybrid embryo. However, the embryo was terminated during gestation when it was ready to produce a central nervous system. The question remains, why did the team choose to conduct their experiments in China? Has China really become an accessible place for such experiments? What is the purpose of this series of state experiments by the Chinese Communist Party?